Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today I'm gonna to show you my ATV snowplow setup. In case you're new to my channel, before this year, I had a Suzuki Iger, it was a 2004 Suzuki Iger 4x4, and I was using it with this Kimpex Click and Go 2 plow system. But this year I upgraded to a CF Moto C Force 500, it's a 2021, and I'm gonna be using the same Click and Go 2 plow blade on the C Force. A lot of people are new to plowing their driveways, and they're just deciding whether they need to use like a snow blower, a lawn tractor. Well, I've been using an ATV to plow my driveway, which is a quarter of a mile long, plus up near the house, I got all kinds of other offshoots to my driveway that are small and intricate. And I've been using an ATV and the click and go to plow system all this time. This will be my seventh year. But like I said, I've changed my setup for 2023. I'll be using the Seaforce 500 plus the click and go to plow blade system. And I don't expect any issues because I know a bunch of guys that use a CF Moto Seaforce ATV for plowing snow and they're having no issues at all. Now they don't have a driveway like this, but if it's working, it's working. It doesn't matter how big the driveway is. So with that, I'm gonna take you around here and show you my ATV snow plow setup, and maybe it'll help you out making your choice. I do have quite a bit of experience plowing snow in the driveway here. As you can see, it is a long driveway. That's one way up to the house. And this is the other way going up over that hill and down to the road. It's a quarter of a mile long. So what I have here is the Seaforce 500. And I know it'll do the job because the Suzuki Iger was a 400. The only difference is this is belt driven, the other one was gear driven. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out yet, but like I said, friends of mine have the C-Force that is belt driven with a CVT clutch and they're having no problems at all. This here is a click and go to 54 inch plow blade on a click and go to push tube and the click and go to universal mount for ATVs that's mounted underneath. I'm very happy with this plow blade. It's never been damaged and it works well. You can see my winch rope comes down here through this hook and over to here. And when I bring in the winch rope, it lifts here a lot of the, it's a straight down kind of an angle there, which will bring a lot of the pressure to here, even though it's hooked up to here and it'll help lift this plow blade. I'm also using a Kimpex 3,500 pound winch. I've never used a Kimpex winch before. I imagine it's going to be fine. It's my first time ever trying it. So we'll see how it goes. It's waterproof. And like I said, this one here came with a synthetic rope. You'll want a synthetic rope, whether it's for plowing or winching yourself out of trouble on the trails. A winch cable is a thing of the past. Synthetic rope is the way to go. So there's my ATV snowplow setup. I'm gonna take you into the garage right now and I'm gonna show you how to attach this click and go to plow to my ATV and how to set everything up. All right, there isn't much use in showing you my setup if I don't show you how it works, right? So I'm gonna show you how the click and go to plow system hooks up to your ATV and how to unhook it. See, I already have it hooked up. I'll show you how to unhook it. So what I did was move the winch hook from the first eye bolt, I guess you would call it, down here on your push tube. And that there's another hook over here. I attach it to that. This allows me to raise the plow and the push tube or lower it. So right now the plow system is mounted to the ATV mount underneath on the chassis. So we're going to step on this pedal here. And there's two hooks down there. They're closed. Now they're open because I stepped on it. Now we're going to let more rope out. So there you go. This is how you attach your click and go to plow system to your ATV. You grab your winch, let a little bit of rope out. There's the winch rope I was talking about. So you little, let a bit out. You're gonna hook it up to this first hook here on the push tube, just like that. We're gonna reach over here to our button, our toggle for our winch, and we're gonna draw it in. There we go, we got lifted up. 
Now we're going to step on this pedal here. It's going to open up the two hooks up on the push tube and we're going to open up, position it in place and it's going to close up. We're going to close it up like that around the mount. Now our push tube is attached to the mount underneath the ATV. We're going to release the winch rope again. And we're going to give ourselves a bit extra rope here. Then we're going to come under here. Now we're going to detach this hook. We're going to run this hook over here to this eyelet. And we're going to run the rope through here. So like that. Now we're going to draw in some of our winch rope. Watch your fingers. And that's how it works, like that. You can go pretty high with it. And when you're parked, let the plow blade down, takes the pressure off the front end of your ATV. You can also step on this pedal here angle your blade to whichever side you want to shoot the snow one direction you can see it turns all the way back here you can even set it in somewhere in the middle there is five settings and then you can step on it again bring it back whatever there's five settings to angle your plow blade for snow and these springs here they'll absorb shock if you hit something hard like a rock or something and you fix your plow blade forward It'll absorb that shock for you. I'll bring you in closer to show you everything one more time. Now this fair lead here is an aluminum fair lead. It's good for synthetic rope. It's got rounded edges here. I'll leave a link down in the description below this video where you can get a fair lead like this. I will leave also leave a link where you can get the winch, the Kimpex winch. I'll leave you links to the click and go to plow system, which is amazing. Everybody likes those. I'll leave links to the snowshoes here. This is for gravel driveways. You got gravel in your driveways, you need these shoes. You can adjust them up and down, whatever height you want your plow at. And I'll leave a link to the markers here as well too. These markers will help you out, especially at night, to see the edges of your plow blade, you know where you are. One more item I want to add to my ATV snow plow setup is chains. I want to put tire chains on my back tires here. It's going to help me out in my driveway for sure because of the long driveway and the up and down grades I have. When I get a good hard crust on my driveway like midwinter and it can get slippery at times, it'd be nice to have chains on the back tires. I've never had too much trouble, but I know chains will help a lot and you only need them for the back tires.